Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We put some more rods on the website, so if you guys wanna check them out, kickingtheirbass.com, I have the link down below. Everybody that's went ahead and purchased a combo, I'd just like to say thank you guys so much for supporting me and my brand. I really appreciate it, and I can't wait to see you guys get those rods. Everybody that ordered last week, all the orders shipped out yesterday, so you guys should be receiving the rods here shortly. If you guys wanna check them out, link will be down below. I appreciate everybody, thank you so much. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're out here on the Ogeechee River, but we went way down. We're actually in salt water right now, and uh, we're gonna be trying to target some redfish and flounder today. We might try to catch some bass, depending on how we do down here, um, but we're just gonna give it a shot. I've never been on this part of the river. If you guys can tell, it's, it's very wide, um, and it's a lot different, very marshy. And I'm just excited today, guys. I don't know too much about saltwater fishing. This is the first time I've ever put my boat in saltwater. Um, so we're gonna run it today, guys, and just try to catch some fish. Overall, have a good time and just explore some new water. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys wanna see more content, please let me know. Hit the like button. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and hop into this one and get out to our first spot. boys and girls we just got to our first spot i had a spot marked off that i i looked on my maps last night and uh i don't know anything about saltwater fishing guys this is my first time like kind of going out like this we we went bank fishing one time last week um and then we also went surf fishing and caught some massive bull reds but rather than that i haven't really done any of this um i've gone red fishing a few times with my boy mark but like i said i've never gone out like by myself like this and just tried to catch some redfish and flounder and all different types of saltwater fish. So this is gonna be a learning experience today. I'm gonna to take you guys with me, um, document everything. But the spot that I picked out that we were going to go to was this long creek and you go right up in the back of it and there's some big flats that are about, I'd say one to three foot on high tide. And uh, I was thinking that could be a really good spot for those redfish to be roaming, but it's just a hike, man. We're over by the ocean too. I'm gonna have to put my boat in fresh water and clean this out after this. But uh, we out here today. But we're gonna go ahead and rig up. I just tied a leader on this. This is 15 pound of Brazex on that uh, braid right there. So we're gonna go ahead and tie up. I think I might start off with a swim bait and then we might move to like a little shrimp here in a little bit. But uh, let's go ahead and get it started. Um, With it being cloudy out, probably gonna go with this this dark color swim bait um i, I don't know I, I have a weird feeling with it we're gonna start off with that it's pretty cloudy out this morning the sun hasn't peeked through i think a darker color would be a little better and give this a shot by the way if you guys have any any tips or suggestions for us please let me know down below i'd, I'd love to learn more about this guys and, and learn from some of y'all that that do this on the regular or just have done it before so please leave some comments down below with some feedback. Uh, let your boy know. I'm still new to this, but we're out here learning. Them elastic swim baits are a pain in the butt to get on that hook. <laughs> that a do, man. <laughs> These things are so they're so flexible, man. It's hard to hard to get that dang thing on the hook. So guys, we are starting off on a little point right here on the main river just to try it. Like I said, I don't, I don't know too much about how that works, but this little creek looked pretty good right here at the mouth of it. I was like, you know what? We're gonna try this point. See if we can get into anything. You can't tell me there ain't nothing right here. Gotta be some sort of fish, right? Some bait popping. Nice little point, got some good current ripping out of it. So we're rigging up a second rod right now. I'm actually gonna put on a little shrimp. So I'm gonna have a swim bait and a shrimp on. Let's 
have a little bit of versatility. A couple different baits on, so I'm not chucking the whole same thing the whole day. And then say we didn't catch much, I'll be a little mad at myself. that spot you see that spot how oh, there's like dirt oh there's a huge gar holy cow <laughs> there's a massive massive gar right there I'm hooked up. I don't know what I got. Looks like a little trout, dude. Yeah, it's a trout. Let's go, dude. Look at that. We're hooked up on our first fish today and it is a trout. Pretty little fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, buddy, calm down. Well guys, there we go. We got our first fish today. Nice little speckled trout. And uh, I've caught one before with Cody's buddy. But um, that's my first one on artificial. Pretty little fish, nothing big, but you gotta get started somewhere today. And uh, knowing that we don't really know too much about what we're doing, to catch a trout pretty quick is awesome and get him back in the water. Yeah, if we could do the slam today, dude, get a flounder and a redfish too, that would be dope on our first trip. Uh -oh. Cody, what are you doing to me? Focus on the shot. This reminds me of the first day we linked up. Cody, Cody took me in the trees. Heck yeah, dude. Give me some, bro. That's like rewarding. I told Cody, I was like, any fish that we catch today is rewarding. So yeah. let's see if we can get another one right here. Little baby trout, dude. Tiny thing. He munching away at that sucker though, dude. He's a tick, 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 tick. Oh yeah, another trout. Oh, dude. Let's go. He's a little bigger than the last one. <laughs> Old shrimp is getting it done. All right, buddy, calm down, calm down. Calm down, bud. I'm gonna get you right back in the water. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Another nice little speckled trout. And that is awesome. You see him drumming, dude? What do they call that when they when they do that? I'm not sure. Is it drumming? <laughs> it's That's the best term that I can come up with, but a pretty little trout on my next cast just about. Look at that little sharp tooth in there. One tooth wonder. Pretty fish, dude. This is dope, man. We're getting on some trout pretty quick. Well, all right, boys, we are going to leave this first little spot. I, uh, there's just a bunch of little small trout down there. I think we could catch the mess out of them, but I kind of want to go find some different fish, whether it's flounder or redfish or whatever it is. I'd love to catch one of each today and uh, get the slam, but we'll see, man. We got a trout, a couple trout. They kept biting too. Like, I mean, they were hammering me. I just think they were really small. We're gonna keep on working down this uh, creek right here. and. Anything that's irregular or sticks out to us, any little indivits in the bank, any little tiny canals that are pumping out water like that, we're gonna stop and fish. And I'll just throw along this edge while we're working our way back in here. Oh gosh, something just ate right there, Cody. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, right here. We're gonna get it. Something just ate them bait, bait fish. I see a big one underneath me. Big fish.
I don't think I got a fish. Yeah. I don't know what I got. Is that a crab? What is I got a fish. I got a crab. I got a massive crab. Oh my gosh. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> well, there is my first blue crab ever. And look at him clamp down on that swim bait. I was about to say, dude, I swore something ate me. And it happened to be Mr. Krabs. Maybe we can get the secret formula from him. All right, dude. What do I do in this situation? Because I do not want to get got. All right. <clears throat> so you hold him back here. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta stop spinning. You gotta hold him back there on the back. Is he? Can See, he... none of these can pinch. Just yeah, those yeah. two front ones. But can he reach around and get no, my butt? No, he can't reach behind. Your first show. Yeah. Cody's playing with me right now. I'm for sure, get... dude. Whoa! <laughs> So he won't come around on you? I don't think they do. <laughs> Your answer changed on me, Cody, when you were doing it. I don't think they do. Where is the hook? Is it actually in there? There you go. Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> nice. Thank you. He was, he was trying to reach around and get me. Uh, well, <laughs> we, we caught a crab. <laughs> We caught Mr. Krabs. On a, on a spinning combo. Yeah, that's... These people putting out crab traps, man. They don't know what's going on. All right, y'all. Little update. We about 17 hours into this sucker. <laughs> Me and Co... Eight, eight for sure. Yeah, we... Yeah, eight hours in. I mean... I'm struggling, guys. My back feels like it's about blown out. <laughs> My dang trap is about to come out of my body. I've been having some trap problems from casting all these years. Some burnt to death, and we're not giving up. We are, we have been trying about everything in the book, and uh, we cannot get a nibble. So I'm starting to think there just ain't no fish in the sea. But we look like we're fishing the Geechee for sure. I wish I could just pull up and catch some bass or some muds real quick, because I can catch those in a heartbeat. But as far as fishing in these places go, I don't know what's happening. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but we are in the middle of nowhere. I drove my boat up in this canal. I was hauling butt through it until it got about three foot. And then I was like, I probably need to put my boat down. And, and then we had to hop over a few little like sandbars to get back here. And now we're to the back. I guess this is what I was trying to get to this whole time. And it doesn't look as promising as I thought it would be. <laughs> we, we went miles back up in here. I think the best thing to do, there's a boil, there's something living in here, to put down our power poles and to just hope that we get a bite. I will say we somehow escaped the gnats. I don't know how. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got screwed by some gnats earlier. We were getting eaten alive. I got about 200 bug bites on my leg. Dude, this water looks so gross. My boat's gonna be. What was that? Did you hear? Dude, he was, he was way up in there. I can't even flip to save my life. Finally, the moment I've been waiting on. Oh my goodness. You know how we hate catching mudfish? I would do anything to catch a mudfish right now. I, I would literally, Never mind. I can't say that. I'd do some dirty things to catch a mudfish right now. We're about to get it started. Oh, oh, he's actually behind me. He's actually behind me. What was it? Yeah, I don't know what it was, dude, but I had him. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, there's bait popping all up in there, dude. Like crazy.
We're in 20 foot. Oh, bro, there's big red. Where, where, where? Big red. Where? Big red. Where? Right, there. right in the middle? Right in the middle, Cody? Um, Let me see. They were right there. Where's there that? There were three of them. I don't know where you're at. Right That's the there. mouth of it, bro. Wait, right there. Right there, right there where I had it? Yeah, right, right. there were three of them. Oh my God, dude, I was right there, Cody. I should have just reeled it. Were they big? Yeah. Let me see if I can find them. Oh, dude, I actually had that cast, man. I should have just worked it in. Yeah, there were three of them. They were oh. big. You don't see any more up there? Not yet. Found them, I think. Uh, up in that creek? Oh, dude, I just got slammed right there, bro. Slammed. Look, destroy my swim bait. All right, boys and girls, we just got off the water and man, it was a day today. I try to always stay positive when I'm out in the water and doing stuff, but it was one of them days where it was hard to do that. Um, I just found out something with my boat too, so I'm a little ticked off about it, but so much salt that I'm just cleaning off now. We only caught those few trout. Um, we had those big bull reds that we just happened to miss. Um, that, that which sucks. I really wish we would have caught one of those. I would have made the whole day worth it. Um, ended up catching that blue crab and then lost a few other fish. But overall, we still had fun. It was a long day. We're out there for nine hours just to catch really nothing. But um, we'll definitely have to do it again sometime. I really need a different boat for this because let me show you all. Absolutely destroyed my skag on this. Look at this. I mean, bad, bad. I don't know when I did that, to be quite honest with you. I, I really don't know. What is this? All right, that's nothing. But I just destroyed it on both sides. It's worse right here. But man, that just aggravates me because my skeg has been fine. I, I have a lot of buddies that they have the paint ripped all the way off and I've always taken good care with it. And I know where I'm running when I go to places where I fish, but I messed it up at some point today. I don't remember hitting anything. I, there was one point where the motor was dragging. Remember that, Cody? Yeah. And I think it was on an oyster bed. Mm. And I think it scraped that up. That was when I was on the trolling motor. I don't think it was when I was running. But overall, guys, I hope you got a hoot out of this, today's video. Um, you got to watch us run around like some people that don't know what they're doing. Um, but if you guys have any feedback or tips that you want to leave down below, please comment down below. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video. And I will catch you all in the next episode.